got a lot of new faces on the squad here. What, you got close to 50, 60 guys here, man. That is incredible. Well, yeah, this year um, we brought in about 60 new guys, about 35 high school guys, and the rest of them are transferred. Uh, we lost a lot of seniors last year off last year's team, so we're looking for these guys to come in and continue continue the success that we've had before. Let's talk a little bit about that offense, too. Rolling last year, good ground game, obviously Kari Lane, but you got a new offensive coordinator again. I mean, it's new players on the field. you got new players, uh, coaches on the sidelines. That's, that is a lot to get straight. How are these guys gelling so far? Well, my offensive staff, uh, starting with Coach Howard Fagan, he got here in the spring. And then uh, Coach uh, Daryl Bullock will be uh, coaching our offensive line. Uh, James Hudgens will be coaching our wide receivers. He's coming in from Central State University. So we feel like that those guys are gelling well. They're getting the guys together. Um, continuity has been an issue, but we, we're trying to work on that with so many new faces. Uh, but we're looking to do the same things. Something about when you start putting out the starting lineup, uh, things seem to start to kind of come together a little bit faster with the continuity there. But let's mm -hmm. let's talk about something that is familiar. And you've got a guy under center that's been there, done that, taking you guys to the championship game last year, and that's Kari Lane. How nice is it to have somebody back that, that knows the offense, knows the culture here? Uh, well, Kari has been here two and a half years now. You know, he was here during the COVID year, so he got a, a good time to, to get an understanding of how it works at Federal State. Uh, he's been our leader on offense for the last two years. He gets the guys together. I say it every time. He brings these guys together. They really look up to him. Uh, the O-line is looking forward to blocking for him this year. Uh, he's like a coach on the field for him. And when you're talking about starting off the season, you, you're not ducking anybody. you got a tough one in UNC Pembroke. You, then you got Wingate coming up right behind it. I do know a little bit about those guys yeah. here. How nice is it or how tough is it to get those two early to get you ready for that CIAA schedule, Coach? Well, we feel like we, we know we have a tough schedule and we are ready to uh, take on that challenge. It, it only prepares us for the CIAA and, and hopefully in the playoffs. Uh, that's our goal this year to try to make the NCAA playoffs. Uh, so we want to get started with tough teams. And when you're talking about making the playoffs and what you've established here, it, it's no, I know a wise man once said nothing succeeds like success. Right. In the last four years, you guys have been nothing but successful. How much pressure is that to know to come out that if you don't win the South, this, this ain't Fayetteville State football? Right, it's tremendous pressure, uh, but I love it. I love the challenge each and every year. The goal remains the same, win the CIAA South, make it to the CIAA Championship, uh, try to win the CIAA Championship and get in the national playoffs. That's the goal every year.